Hi everybody. I wanted to send out just a humongous thank you to uh, the very kind comments from my video yesterday um, about my moment of despair with just always having to deal with fighting to have a place that isn't judged in the world, I guess from being dyslexic and I totally understand there's far worse learning, you know, there's far worse things people have to deal with. Um, and, uh, but you guys through your comments really reminded me, um, that I have really, I overcome challenges in a different way. And uh, it's a strength, not a weakness. Um, one of the biggest things that I, f I forget is that I have put myself through school so many times, even though uh, it wasn't expected of me or, um, and just forged ahead on my own. I, uh, like I had mentioned, I didn't think I was ever smart enough to do a whole lot, but um, I finally, with massage, um, decided to give it a try because it, I, it kind of boils down to if I don't try something, I regret it, right? So I um, did it in a way that I could take a class at a time and kind of feel it out and see how I did. and. And it ended up being that uh, massage school was the best thing that ever happened to me. I, I actually did really, really well in massage school because it's such a different way of learning and it fit my way of learning. It wasn't, it, I mean, it is very medically based. And so I held back for a long time. In Oregon, especially, their massage therapy is really valued as a alternative health care, uh, not just spa treatment, and it is treated as such. And, and the exams are extremely hard. It's you know, um, it's like taking pre med tests and whatnot um, to get your license. And uh, it was a place that actually. Um, really supported me and let me learn in the best way that I needed to learn and made sure that we that everything was being touched on every avenue of, of learning was being touched on um, feeling it hearing it watching it and so that really jived with my learning and uh, my instructors were beyond, like I felt very comfortable talking to them about having a learning disability and they understood. And I didn't necessarily, I didn't need extra time or extra this or that because they made sure that my learning style was incorporated and, and um, I, it was the best school experience I've ever had. And I came out, you know, if there would have been a GPA, it would have been the top of the class. And uh, I, I can, one of my strengths is as I'm, as I'm feeling tissues, I can visualize everything in my head that I'm touching and how things are moving and how they're connected and how like joints or levers and how they can how it like one type muscle can affect all the joints in your in an area and and I um so that is like I don't think if I was dyslexic I would be that good at it at at visualizing that and being able to do the what the job that I do um and it hasn't been until the last few years that I've really embraced the fact that I am artistic. I know I, 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 it's always been a part of me, but I haven't necessarily fostered it. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm really trying to lean into that too. And, uh, 
and make that a strength especially my photography i love my pho doing photography but i also like taking that photography and turning it into um art pieces or whatever <clears throat> like drawing on top of it and making it unique um yeah so there's there's far more wonderful things that the dyslexia gives me than the bad things it was harder when i was younger clearly because i wasn't in the right learning environment um i don't think like the education system had quite come along far enough to realize that everyone has a different learning style right so it was harder but um It does define me, but it doesn't define me, right? Like, it, it makes me stronger in so many different areas. If I seem, like, subdued, it's because I've got this, like, underlying cold. I don't feel terrible, but I feel, like, just blah and um, super tired. And um, I'm, hope I'm hopeful this isn't going to manifest any further than this. I tend to, if I get a cold... Um, it doesn't really hit me. It hits me like, I can usually beat it pretty quickly and it doesn't like fully manifest, which is sometimes like a little bit frustrating because sometimes I wish it would just manifest into something. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm just sleeping and drinking a lot of fluid. And, um, I, uh, have been working on some stuff and thinking about your comments. So... Once again, thank you so much for uh, re-focusing my thought process onto the positive. And I was getting there the other day. It just wasn't... It's a roller coaster sometimes. So, um, thank you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.